Okay, welcome to TTC1 everybody, or 41 if you prefer, over the line, heading down to the first uh, right under turn 1. Uh, the car needs to be on the left hand side, which you can see there, I'm uh, half a car width away from that edge, so uh, that's going to comp compromise my entry, um, which is why this is a 129 lap, not a 128 lap. Um, there's a, uh, we're just into, added into a, a skid mark now, um, near the line on the left hand side, and I use this as a reference for, for braking. You can see I've just started to introduce a brake pedal uh, on the uh, on the bars on the left hand side. I grab a gear and start to introduce a little bit of turning. So, I've done braking, I'm just rocking the steering on and off, I'm not fully committing the car with full right hand steering for the fear of not wanting to upset it. But it's a ginger corner and uh, I, I can go through you know you can go through here and carry more speed, which means that when I've exited I'm you know I'm in the middle of the road and I shouldn't be because I'm all the way around there I'm fighting the car when I don't need to be. And you need to exit on the left hand side. So yep, yeah, little movements on the steering but let her run, run further left on the on exit. Up to the top here, take a lot of ground on the way in, uh, brake, I grab a gear and again it's a matter of getting it set up nice and early so on the brakes there to keep a flat in between the over the brow of the hill and then uh, this part it's basically gung-ho uh, you can carry more, a lot more speed through here uh, you should be airborne um, and you can cut a little bit more of the corner on, on the right here cut going through it as well just be aware when you do that she's going to land and obviously scrub left so you need to be thinking about um, setting up for the uh, left hand part here ahead um, as soon as you can um, so now you can see that I've cancelled the right hand I'm actually swapping to the left hand side and you can take some curb here but don't really go any more than beyond the actual uh, line of the curb you just depending on your line and your speed you, you know sometimes it's, it's best to almost miss this curb um, but providing you, you, you're ready with the steering or and brake throttle to, to, to correct it if you need to then you can use it um, and again, the speed, the, the 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 key with this car all the way around this lap is um, basically to, to 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 introduce steering well before the t the turn. I hadn't introduced the right hand, the, the, putting right hand on here soon enough. And um, what what that means is 110 mile an hour basically. I, I feel that I have to t get off to help uh, track on the way in. Um, you can run the, the best line through here is basically curb on the way in here. She's just scrubbing anyway, and I'm just rocking on and off the throttle on the uh, the steering, just to help keep her settled and curb through this part as well. Now I turn on the curb there, which is why I feel that I need to get off because I'm turning on the bouncing curb, so I choose just to, to lift off there. If I'd got a, right, a better line from, on the way in, I wouldn't have needed to do that, which is why it's a 129 lap and not 128. So heading to this next left, uh, this next um, left combo, um, set up and take a lot of ground on the way in. Uh, brake down a gear, and now look, start to introduce the uh, the car turning because you know she's going to scrub wide anyway. You need to make the uh, the inside on here because uh, the, the the shape of the road camber will take you around. So. Break it, uh, I was braking until that point, um, introduce more steering look because I'm actually in the middle of the bend now but now you need to be thinking about accelerating all the way out of here up the hill. Two wheels off the uh, off the road on the on the exit, same as what it was on the entry and I, again I am fighting the car too much here, you know she I, she, needs, she can be uh, a half or a car uh, width um, wider than that as you can see, um, I'm not, I'm not utilising all the road which is costing me speed basically you won't have a choice when you're going through here faster you will be over on the right hand side and providing you don't stick the uh, you know the virtually all the car beyond that yellow line um, you'll be okay and you'll be faultless as well Sander. I break between the second and the the, the last uh, brake board and again I'm not using all the road on the way in but the key here is to to, to, to stick to the inside uh, to help it pull you around so again little movements to start getting used to the fact that she's going to be turning right scrubbing at the same time which is fine and then test for grip there's a kink in the middle of that but here it's safe me bend to be uh, on the on the corner uh, on the gas and uh, be letting uh, straightening up the steering as well which is what it's all about I use the cone here for the next right hander down another gear 
and you can take curb and you can not take curb. It, it, if you if you take the curb careful, you you can get away with it. It doesn't unsettle the car too much, but there is a compromise because you can't be fully on the gas uh, and, and get away with it. And again, I really I was on a uh, right hand uh, lock there for a bit too long. You can see the car through a wobbly, which is why there I've got the left hand lock uh, applied. So here I don't need to be turning right, I should be letting her you know, run out wider sooner. And there you go, blast all the way down here. Down here basically is the line of least resistance all the way. So there's what I use for a braking point. Down to fourth, down to third, and again try and use the, the whole of the road. This is a second gear for me. So. And just like the other times before, basically start to introduce some steering and then as you get towards the corner, just apply a little bit more and then just rock it where you think you need to. We're going to be hitting the curves, so there you go, little, little movements, just little adjustments and then as soon as you've exited that first part, get the steering introduced to make sure that she's uh, happy to the change of the direction. Again, I'm um, I've, I'm turning too far right, which on the gas here at full uh, full lock is why I've got the left hand on that stop from coming around. So, but prevention is better than cure. Basically, use all the road, and you won't need to do little things like that. Because while you're fighting the car, you're not you're not going as uh, in the direction quick enough to uh, to maximise your lap out. This is the same as always. Obviously, left hand uh, left hand side of the track for a right hander, and little movements. Um, but make sure you head for the uh, for the inside here because if you get in the middle of the road on the on the way in, it will just suck you out to the uh, to the left hand side. So nice and early. You can, you can if you get it wrong and you cut the, you jump the curve on the inside, it's fine. So make sure you, you turn in plenty of time and you can adjust your line like I'm doing now, like rocking on and off, to make sure she's going to be happy. And that's it over the line.